Hey guys, this is our fourth day working on the house. We just started tearing down um, the vinyl, uh, not vinyl, the wood paneling in the dining area. And so this is what we've got, some kind of drywall looking thing underneath versus having the um, raw wood in the living room. But I wanted to show you because me and Bobby have no idea about anything. <laughs> we just started pulling it down and there was this hole. And so we're assuming it was some kind of um, stove pipe heater thing. Found out this morning the house was built in the 1920s, so it's about 20 years older than what we had previously thought that it might be. And so I wanted to show you guys um, inside the little hole real quick. Here we've got brick. And so, I'm not sure if that was a chimney um, or what this would have been, but the way the wall is done, you can see that it's um, this wall straight, this wall straight, and this one's kind of art or uh, not art, but slanted diagonal to the rest of the walls. As it is, this is the second bedroom here. Also in the living room and so here and also in the first bedroom. So super curious as to if there would have been a fireplace, which I feel like would make sense in a house like this. But anyways, I think we're about to pop up in the hatch and see what's up there and see if it continues up into the peak of the house. Hello guys, thought we would update you. So we are in the second bedroom and as we already speculated, the door, um, we just ripped down the wood paneling and we have a door and that's pretty wild. Um, so we're trying to figure out kind of the setup of the house. We think that the two bedrooms, the living room and the dining room would have been already here and maybe the kitchen. Um, we can see we still have that old wood here. Um, so we're still saying original to the house, this room. Um, the door here goes into, I don't know if I already told you, it goes into a, a really weird food pantry. Um, so we're thinking that the door might have been the end of the house. Um, so this perhaps was, was all of the original and everything passed that uh, we're thinking might have been added on, but we will keep tearing stuff down and I'll update you in a minute. There's some more room now. Yeah. I heard you video that. <laughs> no, I wish I did. never redone a house. Bugs hate noise. So make as much noise as you can. Hashtag pro tip. Today this wall's coming down. Last night me and Bobby had an asbestos scare, so we went today still on that. As you can tell, we are millennials and we are afraid of everything. <laughs> but this is gonna look so good. This is the wall that's trying to kick it down. This will go with the wall. Save all the boards. Hey guys, I hope you can hear me. Um, presently, I have on my asbestos mask because me and Bobby tore into some flooring and found out afterwards that there was asbestos in it. Um, also in some of the walls and, and some other things. So we went and got these things, which I don't know if we already like, breathed into our lungs, but whatever, you know, it'll be okay. <laughs> 
Anyways, I wanted to update you guys because we've done a lot of work since we've torn into the floor and other things. I want to show you what we've done. So the first thing is the master bedroom. We knocked out the closet, which was here. Um, so we knocked it down. We have ripped up the flooring. It was a like a vinyl sheet linoleum or laminate or whatever you want to call it. So we pulled that up. These are the boards that are underneath the floor. So that's what we're working with. Um, I've pulled out all the trans. So pretty much this room is done on our part. Um, we're going to help Bobby's uncle kind of put it back together when the time comes. But I think it's pretty much stripped there. Next thing is the second bedroom. And if you notice, I walked from the front bedroom to the second bedroom. So we ripped out the closet that was here. And now the door's open. That was fun to open. It was like going... Going to Narnia or something. So that's open now. Um, we still gotta rip, this is what was in that bedroom. So we still gotta rip that up. Um, yeah, that pulled the trim down. We still have some trim somewhere. Um, and then show you the last time, that was the door. It was covered with wall paneling, wood paneling. Whew. And yeah, I think we're gonna actually close it up. Um, so walking into the dining room, if you look behind me, you can see into the kitchen. So this is the living room. I'm going outside. You can see all the way into the kitchen. And there's Bobby. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but anyway, so that's what we did last week kind of see so this is where we're going to try to put a bar here and kind of just open this up to make it a big big kitchen um and then we started on the bathroom too Whoop. we gutted the bathroom last thursday today is wednesday so it's been about a week um the bathtub was Right beside the hot water heater, um, and then the toilet was here, and the vanity slash sink was here. So all of that's been stripped out and turned the camera around. So here's a here's a slightly better view of it all. I'm just kind of stripped down, and this is actually going to move in the back sunroom. We're going to put it by the washer dryer, so that'll be good. And then we're also going to move the door. So where the door is here, we're going to move it here. And then this will become just a big wall. And since we're closing this off, we're thinking about maybe making this like, like a walk-in pantry here. And maybe trying to like line it. Um, so essentially it would be the safe the storm, storm area, safe area of the house. Um, no windows, middle of the house. So that's what we're thinking. Um, but yeah, that's what we've done so far the next couple of days. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we are going to pull down some ceilings. So we started right here. We're gonna have these the wood ceiling exposed. So we're gonna pull all this down. We're gonna pull all of this down. We're gonna pull this flooring up and pray that it matches this flooring. And we're hoping we might be able to sand this floor down um, and refinish it. Um, so that would be nice to save some money if we can. Um, hopefully we can do the same thing in here. And maybe even in here, pull this up. And then we'll see where we're at. Now I was trying to keep a day by day journal, but that has not happened. So anyways, um, closing today, uh, it is uh, Wednesday, May 15th. So we are well over a month into the house. And we've got we've got some progress. We haven't started putting anything back in it yet, but you know, doing two or three days a week, I think we've done pretty good. So, anyways, it's coming along, and I guess I will talk to you in the next couple of days. Bye, guys.